become introverted like Piccolo, bro. Now look, if you don't watch DBZ, if you never watch DBZ, you missing out on life. You really missing out. Because DBZ is that shit, my nigga. DBZ is that shit. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Piccolo, bro, he's the OG, bro. Piccolo is that nigga when it comes to DBZ. Now, in Dragon Ball Super, they fucked that nigga up. His character, they totally washed that nigga, bro. But I really fuck with Piccolo, bro. And I don't just fuck with Piccolo because of what he can do in the series. I fuck with Piccolo because of his character, bro. This nigga is an introvert, bro. He is always to himself. When you see Piccolo, bro, what is he doing? He's meditating in the wastelands. He's always training. He's always, you know, reserved. He's always to himself training on his shit, on his purpose. Now, I fuck with that, bro, because Piccolo don't slack off, bro. Piccolo, he know what he want. Piccolo know his purpose. He always stays training because he's always staying aware. I say that to say this. Strive to be like Piccolo. You see, we all have an anime character that we want to be like, bro. We all have an anime character that inspires us. My opinion, bro, you should want to be like that nigga, bro. Because Piccolo, bro, being an introvert, bro, is what's going to benefit you in the long run. You see, you, you hear about the alpha. You hear about how you got to be this macho man. You got to be in the forefront. You got to be on the center, controlling the shits, bro. You don't got to be that shit, bro. You don't got to be none of that shit. The best man is the man who's reserved. The best man is the man who can be to himself. You see, a lot of men these days, they can't be to themselves. Beta males are just insecure. <clears throat> no, alpha males, excuse me. Alpha males are just insecure beta males who got muscles, bro. That is all they are. They're just insecure beta males who got muscles. That's all they are. Because here's the thing. What the fuck is an alpha, bro? Yeah, in the animal kingdom, there is an alpha male. He's the one that stands top. But I'm talking, when you look at it from a human standpoint, what is an alpha male, bro? Bro, we all humans at the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, to say that you're an alpha male to exert yourself higher than somebody, that's insecurity right there. Because you feel like you have to show dominance over somebody. Real niggas don't got to do that shit, bro. Real niggas, they carry themselves like that. They presence speaks for that alone. When you got to get on, you know, camera and spout all this dumbass nonsense. Oh, you know, you got to be this. If you're not controlling the room and people are not looking up to you, bro, who gives a fuck, bro? Who gives a fuck? First of all, you shouldn't even be striving for people to even accept you. Because if you're on semen retention, people are not going to fuck with you like that. Yes, you're going to have some people who are going to be attracted to you, you know. You're going to have some people who's going to gravitate towards you. But you're going to have a lot of people who are not going to fuck with you, bro. You're going to have a lot of people who are going to fall out your life. And that's why I say being an introvert is the best route to go. Because when you're on this journey, a lot of people end up folding. Because when they start seeing people falling out that life, they start thinking like, damn, bro, maybe this journey, maybe this path that I'm going on, maybe it's not the right one. Maybe I'm doing myself a disservice. Maybe it's a placebo. Then they start overthinking shit, bro. Don't overthink nothing, bro. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. But what you got to do is, bro, you got to reserve yourself. And you got to accept that when you're going to get to a point on this journey where you're going to have to be an introvert. Being an introvert, bro, it's, it's mandatory, dog. Because you're going to be vibrating at such a high vibration, at such a high frequency, that being in the same crowds that you was before is not even going to feel the same. You're not going to even get the same thrill with your friends that you once did. And it's sad, but you have to step up and take on that responsibility. Because in the long run, it's going to benefit yourself. It's a, it's a, it's a big-ass investment right now that in the long run, you're going to see results. Be like Piccolo, bro. Piccolo, he reserved, he's meditating, bro. He's training. He's when the Z fighters need him, he shows up out of nowhere, bro. When the Z fighters need him, he's right there on the dot. You don't even know that nigga is gonna be showing up. You don't even know where that nigga is at, but he just pop up on the scene, bro. When he pop up, it's badass, bro. That's the nigga you wanna be like, bro. That's the nigga who you wanna be. The nigga who is, you know, MIA. The nigga who that nobody hear about. My bad, y'all. If I'm tripping, uh, nigga, I just hit the blunt. But you want to be the nigga who nobody hears about for a long time. The nigga that's mysterious. And then when they pop up, your presence is vast. Your presence is known. You know, your presence is more felt. 
that's the dude you want to be, bro. You don't want to be these niggas out here who just talent nonsense, talent and fake shit. And you just look like a nigga who's just trying to get attention. You look like a nigga who's just trying to be fake gangster, bro. Where I come from, bro, real, ni real niggas move in silence, bro. Where I come from, bro, the real niggas, the real Gs, you knew about them, but you never knew where they were. You never knew what they was doing. All you knew who they was, you knew about they were, what they was about, and you knew not to mess with them. You knew to stay away from them because they present said it. They action said it. So you got to be that nigga whose actions speak louder than what his words say. Because niggas is not going to take your word for granted, bro. You can tell somebody a million and one things, but if your actions is not speaking up for it, bro, if your actions is not backing it, you look like an idiot, bro. You look like a fraud. Not only that, you just look like a little hypocritical, bro, because you spend all this shit, but yet you're doing the shit that you're telling people not to do. You want to be the person, bro, who is unknown. You want to be the person who's living in third party mode, bro. And I always say that. I be telling my mom that all the time. I'm like, I'm living in third party mode. She's like, what's that mean? Third party mode, when you say that, bro, that means you just take a step back in life and you look from the outside in, bro. You're not playing the game. You're not in the heat of the moment. You're not in none of that shit. You on your purpose, you know? You, you know, digressing. You taking yourself at a mainstream and you working on yourself getting your mind right but you're still keeping the eye what's going on but you're not indulging it you're not engaging it you're aware but you still are mysterious so look bro me piccolo he that nigga bro i want to be like that nigga bro i ain't gonna cap i be thinking sometimes bro shit man if i get that purple gi that shit will be lit but yeah bro that's the nigga you want to be bro and make sure y'all stay on y'all shit.